And I think most invention comes from change of procedure. If you go to Pollock's drip or Johns's stencil, one doesn't think necessarily that invention comes from changes in procedure, but more so than not, it does. I took a large table and I flooded it with paint stick and then took an instrument like a piece of metal or various tools. And I'm not making a line, I'm just watching my arm movement. And then I pull it off. Until you really find the right temperature and the, the right process of activity and time, you spend more time getting the viscous matter to the point where you think it's not going to either not pull up at all or adhere to the point where you've just got globs and so you can go through a lot of paper on the floor. I think it comes out of the relationship that I have, particularly with matter. That matter will inform itself. The logic of matter will inform whatever you do. And variability of matter will transform whatever you do. that part of my need to make something where I'm physically involved with it and I get a continuous return on the moment gives me fulfillment so be it <laughs>